Hello, hello, my beautiful sunshines and my beautiful dolls. Welcome back to this your channel. On this video, I'm just bringing you a fill and a nail repair um, from the set I had done a few videos back. It's been a month, I, yeah, a month since um, I did I last did this set. So right now, I'm just fixing the broken nail. She tried to lift, pick up a chair with. Her nail instead of her fingers so that one just ripped back um, in the middle and um, that's why I'm repairing that one other than that I had no lifting on the nails I did forget to post a picture um, but I did put it on the thumbnail so you could see um, it's also gonna be on my Instagram and on my Facebook page so I did have, um, I did try to make this um, clear part as thin as I could. Um, I work with the tip first because that takes longer to dry, um, to polymerize. And then I work myself from the cuticle area and I sweep it to make it as thin as I can. And it did come out a little thick at the end, but... I figure it's okay since she look, likes to use her nails at tool, as tools. Then I proceed to do the fill. All the nails were already prepped except for that one I showed you. They all had um, had, had been prepped and had the clear coat on. So I just move on to filling the nails. All of them are going to stay the same except for the two middle fingers which are the ring finger and Mr. Tallman. The rude finger. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, so I just proceed to tap, uh, to do the infill on those that were going to be the same color. And then I proceed to the one, um, to the middle finger. Um, with uh, mix number two, I believe, from the Mermaid Collection. I am not sure. Um, if you want to know which one it is, I do have a video where I did the swatching for this collection. And you can know what number it actually is. I'm not editing right now at my nail area, so I don't know which, I don't remember which one it is. I think it was number two. Or number three. I don't remember. And then I proceed to add um, power shells or seashell I don't know what they're called power shells I believe I don't know these little shell looking flaky rock thingies on the nail um I got inspired by um this girl named Lorena Rodriguez I'll try and put the link to her channel down below she did it in a different color but I wanted to try it with this mix because it's so shiny um and I thought it would look perfect with that mix with this mix from the mermaid collection and um while you see me working i also um oh the big shells are from um i got them as a gift from tapatilla nails and then the other ones i bought from maria lisa mandojano a long time ago and i've had them in there i want to take the opportunity right now and thank you guys while you're watching me work for watching this channel for hitting play for giving me a few minutes of your day you don't know how much I appreciate it. I love to read your comments. It kind of gives me more oomph to want to do my videos. I mean, I still do them because I love to do my videos. But it gives me more um, inspiration to do the videos. So thank you so much to ladies who have commented down below. Um, I appreciate you. And um, another thank you. And then as well, welcoming. Um, the people who are new to my channel, thank you so much. If you're new, go ahead and comment down below. I will put your name in the bottom of one of my videos. And um, I also will put the link to your channels in the description box. So as you can see, I did the, the shells and then did a little bit of the caviar beads. Um, and you did see I did file the nails as thin as possible. Um, but they still ended up a little thick, but that's okay. She liked them and I feel it gives it more strength since she likes to use her nails as tools. <laughs> so I applied that acrylic. I love it. I mean, all that collection is beautiful. If you guys saw the swatches, you could see 
how gorgeous this collection is i do put links down below from the products i do buy the companies i like to buy from if you guys are interested um exotic nails now has a website so you could probably just go straight to purchase from them and i'll put that link down below as well um so like i was saying i bought the crushed ones from maria lisa mandujano and tapatias nails gave me the big ones maybe three years ago in a swap so I just had them there. I didn't really think of how to use them until I saw this um, girl's video. So there I go decorating it. I really, really loved the results. They look so pretty. She totally loved them as well. Um, so yeah, right here I proceed to encapsulate. I'm gonna. I'm only gonna show you two of the nails. Um, one of with the just the pink color, and then one with the decoration. Um, I don't want to make the video super long. So, and my video this time is not super fast. I just did it times two. So, um, but I did want to show you at least two nails being encapsulated. And here I proceed to encapsulate this nail with the decoration. This one I do it on two beads because it's so much decoration. I want to make sure I cover as much as I can. And, um... As you can see, I just pull down with the bo body of the brush, belly of the brush. I can't talk today. And I was fighting with the little pro at the tip. I <laughs> just didn't want to stay. And um, and then the other one. And I do do it. I do apply the 90 degree angle, put, putting my brush in front of the cuticle so the acrylic doesn't go that way. Um, I, you can't see it there because I put I point the finger downwards so the acrylic doesn't go down into the cuticle area right here i did do a whole lot of filing on this nail because it came out really thick um i didn't mind some of the decoration getting um filed a little bit as much as long as i got it a little thinner than it was i didn't want it to be too thick and then i just kind of file off um drill off any imperfections and seal the cuticle area with my carbide bit this time since the application was so smooth um, and then encapsulation except for the ones that really were thick I didn't take too much time on as you can see in the video and then I send her to wash her hands um, she washed her hands and then I as just as an extra precaution I also spray finished spray on finish uh, finish solution on her and wipe with a nolent wipe these wipes are amazing you guys i've got i found them on ebay um they're the opi no lint wipes they are amazing and they're not expensive the boxes have a quite a good amount i don't remember if i had three or five hundred but they're really really good then i proceed to add the primer to the cuticle well the bonder to the cuticle area and then i put um the gel elixir top coat on every nail I try to wipe most of the gel off my brush that way I don't get the crustiness around the edges. I was finding that that was causing that so as thin as I could get it and I kind of push it down to kind of get it as far as I can and then I go upwards just to cover as much as I can and not having it too too thick. I messed that one up so I went for another little bit. And then I just try to slide in and make it as thin as possible I also find um, sometimes if you put it too thick it becomes kind of opaque so I just try and do it as thin as I can and it looks so pretty and then I proceed once I cure the four nails I go back and cure both thumbs at the same time look how pretty that shines I swear these videos don't do some of these beautiful mixes any justice. So pretty. And there you have the end results. Now I'm going to apply the cuticle oil. This cuticle oil bottle, I somebody sent it to me in a giveaway a few years back. It's from Claire's. I finished it already but I buy more of the mango scent one and I put it in there I just like the little dry flowers in there and everything so and then I try to massage I always put the drops 
a little bit above the cuticle area and then I try to massage all around without touching the nail if possible. I don't like to touch it because I feel it kind of messes it up a little bit, especially when you do the matte finish. So I try to practice just to go around the nails. So there you have it. Look how pretty that looks. I love it. I love it a lot. And there you have the end results. Thanks once again for watching. Hooks, kisses, and squeezes. If you guys decide to recreate something similar to this, I would love to see it. Don't forget to tag me either on Instagram or on my Facebook page. Or post it on my Facebook page. Thanks again for watching. Hugs, kisses, and squeezes. God bless you bunches. And I'll see you on the next one. I love you. Bye. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.